Oh, hey there, people. Welcome back to yet another one of these vlogs of mine where uh, I needed to charge my camera because this is the same day that we did the romp, the romp in the backyard and I couldn't get my fucking mini bike to start. A lot of good suggestions from my friends about why it wouldn't start and what I should have done. You know, some people were like, get a can of Easy Start and spray the carb or get a, I don't know, just a bunch of different ideas. And some people were like saying, get a little space heater and heat up the engine or remove the spark plug and torch the plug and all that whatnot and some stuff and other junk and it's like well it's too late now because it's dark as fuck outside and the headlights don't work on either one of the mini bikes so probably shouldn't be out there romping at this time of night because no my luck I'd miss the trail and just put her right into the deep snow and completely fuck myself over and bend a fork you know so um, one thing I need to do is figure out what I'm gonna do for supper because I haven't eaten anything all day and that's not good so I was thinking and I do that from time to time because my brain actually works every once in a while of uh, going to the grocery store because I need to stock up on shit for the remainder of the week. Uh, dude. What? Dude. What? That could fall. So? What are you thinking? I'm not. Well, start thinking. Open the door. Let me in there. You're not going in there. Please. I want to go inside. Dude. Uh, Please. What are you doing? I want to go inside. Oh, I hope you don't learn what Felix did. What did Felix learn? How to open doors. Do you have a video of that? I want to learn how to open doors. No, I don't have a video of it. Aww. Oh my goodness. Please. Anyway. Uh, oh, come, come back. Oh, freak sake. What, you want to play? Yeah. You want to play? Yeah. Who's kidding? Hey, Who's me. kidding? Me. 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 So her neck is healing up, as you can tell. Hi. It's getting a lot better. It's still, you this know, the, the fur is all shaved weird. around it and shit, but... Camera's stinky. Ah, she's going to have a goofy little spot on her neck for a while. <laughs> Poor kid then. But it looks a lot nicer than it did a couple, like, when I first noticed it, or you guys noticed it, that's for sure. Fuck, she's a weirdo. So I'm thinking about bombing over to the grocery store. Now, I got a major problem, as you all know. My sink froze again. I got water in here. Um, she's ice cold water, too, so that's fucking lovely. And I got the bucket under here capturing any drips. Is it full again? No, it's empty. I gotta drain that out. Dad's gonna come fix that pipe underneath. Bonus. I can't do dishes, except for in the bathroom sink. So I need to make food, but I need to make something that's gonna make dishes big enough to fit in the bathroom sink so I can wash them. Frying pans it is, right? So I was thinking about doing up a rice, and um, I don't know, I wanna go to the grocery store. And get some cans of tomato soup because I want to do a, uh, a rice like mom made with the uh, ground beef and all that. So I was thinking about doing that up. And then, uh, yeah, doing something like that for supper. And then I could have it throughout the week for, for work. That makes sense. And I'd have a whole bunch of shit to eat for work. And um, I got to get this guy booked for the uh, vet big times because he's still doing that bum dragon thing. And that's kind of gross. But uh, that's what I was thinking was... Uh, Make up some food that I can keep here. Either that or Skeddy. I don't really feel like barbecuing tonight. My feet took forever to rewarm. Those boots are great and all, but man, they're not good when snow gets into them. So let's fire up the G6, which has become a fucking snowbank. Jesus. Yeah, it just started snowing like a son of a goof out there, and that's why Adrian was like, well, it's getting dark. Maybe I should head her out. And I was like, well, what are you doing tonight? You want to go for coffee? And he's like... I gotta get to bed early. And I'm like, why is that? And he's like, I'm probably gonna have to work tomorrow. And judging by the snowfall out there, like I don't know how bad it is now. Oh, you can't even tell. They said it was supposed to stop at 540, but it's gonna pick up again by nine. So right now there's probably no snow coming down. I don't see anything out there. If I show you guys the window, you're not gonna see shit. Except for a fat cat eating. She's not even fat. Fatten up. But um yeah, let's go to the grocery store and get some fucking food. Well, I think I'm going to go over to Price Choppers. No, that's not right. Food Basics. Because Fresh Co. closes at 8. And it's currently 7.54. And I'm also hoping that Food Basics is deader than a doornail right now. Ooh, copyright music. My goodness. Fucking journey on the radio, eh? Anyway. I 
I need to clear off my car and then uh, we'll motorboat over to the uh, grocery store grab ourselves some gibbles yeah buddy son of a bitch alrighty let's burn ass over to the grocery store get ourselves some gibbles and then uh, come home and cook something eat it and I don't know Jet Wash wants to play uh, Grand Theft Auto tonight so we might do that I don't know but uh, let's pitter patter have at her and Everybody get some food into our gut grocery store doesn't look too busy looks pretty dead in there so I should be able to get in there get my shit and get out without too much trouble and uh, yeah that's one thing I liked about the Canon mini versus this thing here is the mini when you flip it upside down because that's how I record the road scenes as the cameras upside down as you probably caught on from a previous video um, with the mini X it's got a gyro sensor in it so when you flip it upside down it automatically inverts the video for you so no matter how you hold the camera, it'll always shoot in that format. Freaking nice. But anyway, people, I'm gonna go grab my food and then we're gonna head home and cook something. What? I haven't decided yet, but we're gonna figure it out when we get there. Check it out, fucking pizza. Two of them, party size even. Freaking right. They're pepperoni, but that's like two meals almost probably. Or if I have a live show soon, cook one of these and Serve it to the live show people. Right, Bubby? You're not having fucking pizza. Such a sucker for pepperettes. I need better lighting. Problem solved. But I am such a sucker for pepperettes. And at that price, I couldn't pass it up. At least they're not from the reserve made from moose meat. So I decided to buy these baby shells because I figured that'd be kind of interesting for noodles and the pasta. Bought two packs of these Red Rains or energy drinks, kind of like Red Bull, but cheaper. And uh, I got two of these thick and rich original Hunt. I love the Hunt sauce because it's clean, it's good, it's awesome. So I'm going to make sketty tonight, or macaroni's tonight. It'll be awesome. We'll use the Hunt sauce for our sauce. We'll get this all boiled up. Probably drive a couple of those into us because I'm ready for bed. And then we'll get some dinner going. And what do you want? It's not for dogs. No, it's not even cookie time. Oh, stop. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. Bottoms up, eh? Just bottoms up, this son of a whore. Oh, the one-handed can open. You love that kind. Ah. ah. Took me two there, but... <coughs> oh, fuck. Carbonation kills your throat. All right, I got some water back here. We'll boil that up and turn that into uh, noodles gradually. I love how on the camera you can see the infrared coming out so much brighter than you can in person. Like, in person... It just looks like red rings, but on the camera, it looks like a glowing arc of awesome. Okay, so we gotta wait for that to boil and this to heat up. I need to get some beef out of the freezer and then get it thawed and fucking clean this mess up. So as I'm going into the food basics tonight, I get friggin' insulted by this like guy. This is friggin' hilarious. So I'm going into the store, right? And as I'm walking up to the store, I'm still in the parking lot, mind you. I don't vape indoors unless it's my house or unless they allow it in their shop, like the vape shop, and so on and so forth. So, you know, I'm like, you know, just having a chooch, walking up, and this guy who had a shopping cart with his kid sitting in the basket, because when you push him forward, you got a little seat for the basket, whatever. He's got his kid sitting in the basket, and I walk by, and every time I exhale, I always fire it high into the air, so that, you know, the wind can take it away, and it doesn't bother anybody. This guy's like, hey, sir, I'm like, yeah, and he's like, can you, do you mind not doing that in front of my kid? I don't need him getting cancer. The fucking guy's smoking a dart, you know? He's fucking hacking a dart, and he asks me to stop vaping because he doesn't want his son to catch cancer. I'm like, are you fucking for real, bro? Like, all the nonsense about electronic cigarettes going on the internet right now, it's all fear-mongering terror tactics. Basically, to get people like that goof to think, Oh, well, those cause cancer. Well, newsflash, so do your fucking cigarettes. We've known about this forever. They even printed on the goddamn packages, for fuck's sakes. 
So I just kind of looked at him and I'm like, wow, you're obviously not educated. And then I just walked inside, you know, just totally slammed him, basically called him an uned uneducated moron and walked inside. And I could just see him in my periph. He's giving me this look like, you know, like he wanted to fucking go time. I'm, I'm like, fucking morons, man. This town is full of uneducated fucking morons. And it looks like my camera shit the bed again. Fuck sakes. They've been doing that. They've been dropping connection like crazy. But what's this one here doing? Oh, this one here's still live and alive. Once it's done Sonying. Live and alive. Holy crap, do I have image stabilization turned off? No. I'm just really, really shaky right now. So, I don't know, I thought that was hilarious. Like, you don't want your kid catching cancer, or getting cancer, because you don't really catch it, you just acquire it, or you activate it, or however the fuck it works. But, meanwhile, I'm vaping a dart, an e-dart, blowing the clouds into the sky, away from anybody, and you're sitting there smoking a dart, not even a foot away from your child, blowing the smoke around, and you know your kid's inhaling it. It's like, the fucking moronic people around here, just make me wish they would take the warning labels off of everything so people would just annihilate themselves with their own stupidity. Oh, friggin' right, it's just boiling the shit out of the noodles. Love that kind. Sauce moved over here, it's gonna need this here for the frying pan to uh, deal with the beef once she becomes beef. You know what's really hard to do? Cook when you can't use your friggin' kitchen sink. That is a pain in the dick. Oh, big times. Just frying up what I thought was beef, but it looked weird when I took it out of the microwave out for defrosting. Couldn't figure out why. I grabbed the package. It's not fucking ground beef. It's ground turkey. Son of a bitch. Probably better for you anyway. Hopefully it doesn't make this taste like balls. You know, for a cat that I always catch eating, I don't know where she's putting it. Because she's not getting any heavier or bigger. She's just staying little mini size, scamper size, you know. I really wish she'd get a little bigger. So this fucking thing couldn't bowl her around all the time. It was funny, I posted a picture of him on Facebook. My cousin's like, what the fuck is that? So I told him he's a Tasmanian devil. He's like, I've never seen one of those before. He fucking believed me that Oreo's a Tasmanian devil. Well, I guess he does kind of qualify, maybe. He's fucking nuts. Right? Jesus. You really gotta do something other than jump around like a moron all the friggin' time. One of these days I'm gonna have to try the recipe my buddy sent me for this rice cooker. Apparently you can make mac and cheese in it, but like not craft dinner in the box. Like you actually grow, throw macaroni into it and cheese and stuff and it farts out mac and cheese, but it's like with real cheese and real good. My buddy says it's simply amazing. And apparently you can also make bread in this. You can, um, like, flour, butter, uh, yeast, some other ingredients, and some other junk, and you just, like, mix it all together into a ball, a dough ball, and you fire it in the bottom of the rice cooker, and then you hit the old, you hit the, uh, the white rice button, or you just turn the rice cooker on, so you just white rice for whole grain, whatever you want, and it farts out a loaf of bread. I'm gonna have to try that someday. It's like those round loaves with the cross in the middle, that's what it farts out. That's pretty sweet. I never even thought of that. Making bread in a rice cooker. My buddy says, oh, frig, I do it every time I make pasta. He goes, I make a loaf of bread like that and then cut her in half and put garlic butter onto it and chuck her in the convectional oven on uh, broil, just to toast the top layer, and it makes these, like, two even halves of bread. Like, then you just chop it up into segments and you serve it with your pasta. I'm like, that's a good idea. Like, I wish I could make it, like, a long loaf like I buy at the store and then I can chop it up into slices and make my own bread that way instead of like, oh no, I gotta go to the grocery store to get just a loaf of bread. Fuck it, build my own. Well, that's one nice feature about this ground turkey is it doesn't produce much grease. Like, there's a little bit in the bottom, but usually with ground beef when I put it in there, there's like a soup of friggin' grease in the bottom. Like, it all just farts out of the fat or something. There's not much fat in this stuff. It's pretty much all meat. I dig it. I don't even need a shovel to dig it, to be honest with you. I'd like to say I'm done browning the beef, but I think the proper term is I'm done graying the turkey. Let me go ahead and fire this here into the sauce, drain the water out of the noodles, mix everything together, and it's om nom time! Oh, friggin' right, turned out somewhat. I just really wish I would have bought ground beef, but actually think about with the turkey, I got a lot of that turkey left. Still got another four loaves in the, uh, in the freezer. I'm thinking next time I might buy like a fettuccine alfredo style sauce, you know, and then uh, make a fettuccine out of it. 
with the ground turkey. That might turn out pretty tasty, but it's pretty good right now. Just had a little bite there to see. And uh, I know he thinks he's getting some, but fuck, he's got another thing coming. Get off me. For sakes. What's the matter? Sit. That's lay down, stupid. Alrighty, I just put some in a paper bowl here. I'm gonna go eat this. I don't know what else we're gonna do tonight. I'm gonna leave the vlog open just in case something else goes on that I wanna talk about, and then at which point we will talk about it. So on that note, we'll talk to you guys later. I need to eat. Well, all I gotta say, people, is that was some glorious macaroni. My goodness. Ground turkey's not too bad. I thought it was gonna make the taste completely disgusting, but nope, turned out pretty good. I'm actually impressed. Um, filled me up, I feel great right now. Like, I'm not hungry, but I'm not full. I'm going to stay like that and uh, bag and tag the rest for the rest of the week, which there isn't much there. I only use half the pasta in the bag. Kind of want to save the rest for doing mac and cheese in the rice cooker now. That would probably turn out well. I really wish my buddy would have sent me that afterwards, or before I went to the grocery store, so that I could have picked up the ingredients to do it and do it tomorrow night, make some mac and cheese, but um, ah, that'll be fine for another day. Another day. I also really want to try making bread in that fucking thing because uh, apparently it turns out just fantastic. And uh, yeah, that would be good. Apparently uh, it's common that people make this here and turn it into garlic bread, the bread. So freaking fart out some bread and make some sandwiches out of it. That'd be good. Probably not. But anyway. So uh, I don't know what else is going on tonight. I know the boys are trying to get me on Grand Theft Auto Online. Probably going to go bang that out and play some GTA online with the boys. And uh, go to bed early tonight. Tomorrow dad's coming over. I was going to borrow his pipe glue to uh, fix the pipe underneath the sink. But he insists on coming over and doing it himself so it gets done right. I guess he doesn't trust me to Google things and learn. But how hard can it be to sand down a pipe a little bit? Like I'm going to have to drain the water out of it and then finger blast it with some paper towel on my finger to clean all the water out of it and then uh... freaking what else um, yeah once it's finger blasted and then just apply the glue and stab her together and hope she holds that's about all I can see that are really going on put glue on the inside of the bigger pipe on the outside of the smaller pipe sandwich it together and hope the fuck she holds that's pretty much all I think you gotta do for it but Apparently there's a technique I'm missing, and Dad feels the need to come over and do it himself. So, Dad will be over tomorrow. We'll son of a bitch record him. That'll be funny. And go from there. So, uh, yeah, that's about all I got for tonight. So, uh, turkey macaroni, ground turkey macaroni, whatever the frig you want to call it. Turned out pretty good, and I got me some meals for the rest of the week. So, well, for most of the week, anyway. I'll probably get around three to four Tupperwares out of that, which is pretty awesome. But anyway, people, on that note, I'm going to shut her down here. So, it's about 10 o'clock at night. I'm going to call her quits for today. So thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, click the like button. It lets me know you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. If you have any awesome recipes you want me to tackle, fuck, toss them into the comments. I got, I'm out of ideas. Toss them into the comments, and if I see something that really piques my interest, I'll give her a go. Yeah, big times. So anyway, people, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.